Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas, and today we are going to be making a semi homemade three ingredient pumpkin cake with tons of variations that we'll talk about. So, if you decide to go the simplest way, it's going to be a boxed yellow cake. Again, we will talk about the variations in just a second, but a boxed yellow cake is going to be the first thing you add to your bowl. So, go ahead and dump the whole thing into a bowl. All right, there we go. Now, I think it's time we start talking about some of our variations. So I'm gonna be using a 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin. However, you can use pumpkin pie mix, which will have the spice in there for you, or you can use a spice cake mix, which will have the spice in there for you. So a lot of different things that you can decide to do to get to the final picture. So I've added the entire can of pumpkin, and the next thing we're gonna add to this is going to be two eggs. Two whole eggs, just pop those right in there. And since I went yellow cake and just pumpkin mix, I'm going to be adding pumpkin pie spice, which as you'll see, it's kind of three ingredients. <laughs> It's kind of three ingredients and it absolutely can be. Mine is just kind of not. And then I highly recommend making it a fourth ingredient, adding chocolate. Pumpkin and chocolate are to die for in combination. So I had a little bit of these chocolate chunks left. So I just poured those in there and that's not enough. So I'm gonna be adding some semi-sweet chocolate chips to this as well. First time I ever made this for my husband before he even tried it, he was like pumpkin and chocolate. Then after he had it, he said, I think pumpkin and chocolate should definitely be in more things together in life. So yeah, now we're just gonna thoroughly mix this all together. You can also put applesauce in here, I've heard people say, but I, I don't see a need for it at all. Take the pan of your choosing that would hold a normal cake, grease the pan, and then put the mix in. Now it's gonna be very, very thick. That is totally normal. And you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And just pop that in there for about 30 minutes. Keep checking it until it's firm. So go ahead and pop that cake in there. And after about 30 minutes, just keep checking it. And it's been a couple years since I made this, so the one thing that I was quickly reminded of is that it will bake in whatever shape you put it in the pan into. I remembered that as soon as I saw it. So smooth it out if you care about looks. Um, but this is fully cooled off now, so I'm going to go ahead and invert mine since I chose a bunt for this. So we just flip it over, and if you greased your pan well enough and let it cool off well enough, it should just slide right out. So there it is. It looks beautiful on the other side. That's, that's probably why I do it in a bunt. I don't know. But here is the finished product. You could, of course, put some powdered sugar on it, some cream cheese frosting if you want to get really crazy. But let's go ahead and cut it so that you guys can see the inside. I'm just going to cut a nice healthy piece over here. And there is the piece. Now, it may look dry on camera. I'm not sure. But I absolutely assure you, this is far from dry. Like, you could squeeze a piece of the cake into a ball and it'll stay. Does that make any sense? It is a moist, delicious, delicious cake. I personally think the chocolate makes it, but it's totally up to you. You could add other things if you want to, I'm sure. Maybe some dried fruit, maybe some nuts, whatever you like. But I just wanted to share this with you because it is the simplest, quickest, most delicious fall-like dessert. And it's just fun to make a a batch of it every once in a while. You could do it in a loaf and serve that up for like a breakfast or something, whatever you like. So that is gonna do it for today, guys. I just had to show you one of my all-time favorites that actually I reminded myself of because like I said, haven't made it in a couple of years, but that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you tried at home. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.